Assalamu alaikum. So quite a few people have asked me to walk through my library and this is the the one that you typically see behind me in my videos. Um, a disclaimer here, I love books. I absolutely adore um, having the books around me, uh, but I'm by no means uh, you know, using these to try and show off and show how smart I am. The people that wrote these books are intelligent, I'm not. I just have them in my house and I use them to, 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 to refer to and to study from as and when I can. Um, so I'm just showing you here's uh, some books I have here. It's a mixture of Arabic and English, Lisan al Arab. I mean, we'll go through them over the next videos, inshallah. These are like a, a few volumes I've got Al Badaya and Nihaya, and a uh, lot of books on fiqh. These are the books I you know, have in mostly in English on science, language, um, some martial arts books there, some Islamic books at the top. These are some books I got from the Wazarat al qaf in Kuwait. And um, again, some, some other books in English, some popular science books, self-help books and things like that. I just love to have these, you know, sit down and pick through them as and when. So Bismillah, we'll start today with the top shelf. So here we have uh, some short tafasir. Uh, this is where I keep my main tafasir. So, Taysir. Al Karim Rahman, Tafsir al Quran bi Kalam Rahman, Tafsir al Jalalain, Zubda Tafsir. Then here I have Tafsir al Quran al Azim uh, ibn Kathir, of course, the, the famous uh, Tafsir, probably one of the most famous. Um, I've got some odd books here and there because they just fit in. Uh, then you've got, let me just move this over a bit. Tafsir al Tabari. Um, these are, it's pretty much all of the Tafsir I've got at the moment. Um, I want to really get, um, uh, what's it called? Mawsu'ah al Tafsir al Ma'thur. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about 24 volumes. Inshallah, I'll be able to get that soon. So up here we've got Lul uh, Marjan, which is the famous book of um, a hadith of Bukhari and Muslim that are agreed upon فِيمَا اتَّفَقْ عَلَيْهِ الشَّيْخَانِ Bukhari wa Muslim and then we've got up here Al-Aqidat uh, al-Tadmuriya which honestly I haven't I haven't studied um, you know but I bought it because I'm planning to study it inshallah in the future this book alhamdulillah I got it for it's one of the books I got from the Wazarat al-Awqaf in Kuwait, uh, just a thani. So in the in the books they gave us, I only got this one. Uh, this one, Tibb al Nabawi, famous book by uh, Ibn Qayyim al Jawzi. And then over here, let's have a look. Okay, so these two books were part of uh, uh, some books that were given to us when we attended the lectures, uh, the Imam Ibn Abi Talib lectures in Kuwait. Um, they've done like 20, 20 series now, but uh, they give away, you know, quite a lot of books uh, which are printed specially for that. And these books here, Dawra at Taqsiliya. So you've got Al Ula, Al Thani, Al Thalith. Because Sheikh um, Abu Salah Muhammad Hisham Tahiri, Hafidhullah Ta'ala in the Masjid, um, close by to me here, he, uh, before COVID actually, and some years before, he was running these courses. And I think during COVID, he's been doing them online. And these are the books they print as a companion. You can, you can write notes in them, and it contains several of the uh, famous books. He's designed this as a course for Tulab al-Ilm to become familiar with uh, the books of the uh, you know, the Tulab al-Ilm should know and understand what is Allah al-Khairan what have we got here? Kitab al-Tawheed um, I think it's another Kitab al-Tawheed uh, different commentaries, should we say these have a <laughs> an interesting story um, back when I 
first came to Kuwait, and I used to sit in the, the durus of Sheikh Salim al Tawil. Uh, he used to go through books, and this this was one of them. مختصر السواعق والمرسلة على الجهمية ومعطلة. So we started going through these books, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I was. I was able to just follow what he was reading, but I had no idea what he was talking about. And I mean, t still to this day, this this one I haven't properly studied because it's quite an advanced book for me. So, inshallah, in the future, I have it there. Um, I've got some books on Aqeedah here. So this is Aqeedah to Salaf, Sahaba. Hadith. And I can't remember when I got this one, um, but I, uh, I have yet to, to study it with a sheikh. Sharh uh, Sunnah, Al Haiq al Makhtoum, see the famous um, seerah of the Prophet Muhammad. Let's move over a bit further here. Okay, uh, where are we? Okay, so this book is uh, written by uh, Abu Hassan al Shari. Let's see if I can show you that. Yeah, Kitab al Abana an Usul al Adiyana. I believe this was the last book that uh, that he wrote because the the Ashari creed is uh, you know quite prevalent these days, but um, in this book. Uh, but Hassan Ashari mentioned, you know, that he was an adherent of the the creed of the, or the Athari creed, the creed of the Salaf al Salih or Salafiyya, if you like. Um, so yeah, realizing that the teaching, some of the teachings he was um, professing during his life were incorrect. Yeah, so this one's called Wudur al Zahira fi Qiraat al Ashar al Mutawatira. So in this one, um, it goes through, let's see if I can show some. Okay, so here you can see is written the ayah, and then it will say Nafi' and Bujafir. They read it in, in a, you know, mentions the way it's written. And also, for example, Ibn Amr, he read it like this. The different Qira'ats are specified. And in this one, it does it in a slightly different way. Al-Ta'if al-Yusr min al-Qira'at al-Ashr. So you can see on this one at the bottom, let me see if I can show you. This is Nafi' is in blue, Ibn Kathir is in purple, Abu Amr is in uh, this kind of pale blue colour, Ibn Amr, and it's got all of the the ten um, uh, Imams and then the narrators below. So an Imam, al qari and al Ruwaya, and then it specifies in the colours here, you know, and you can see it's highlighted here. So who read in which particular way and how it was read. Um, yeah, very good reference for, for the different Qur'an. And here I just have some uh, riwayat. So this is Biruwaya Sha'ba an Asim, Biruwaya Warsh an Nafi' Biruwaya Qalun an Nafi'. This one over here is uh, Sharh al Ajrumiya. This is the Sharh of Muhammad bin Salih al Uthaymeen. And it's a very, very uh, basic book of um, Nahu grammar. And that's the top shelf. I just want to kind of outline, I have a lot of these books. I, I do love books. I collect books. I haven't read all of the books that I have on this shelf. A lot of them I'll, I'll use as uh, reference works. Um, you know, I'm still learning Arabic and you know, I kind of use them to motivate me. I go through quite a few of them when I'm 
listening to lectures online and, and try and follow along, take notes and things like that. Um, and now the Masajid of, uh, you know, will hopefully start doing Durus again, I can start following along. It's just that I'm in a place in Kuwait where they sell these kind of books. When I was in the UK, it's very difficult to get hold of these kind of books. You have to ship them and they cost a lot of money to ship. So I figured that, you know, build up the library while I still can, you know, and uh, and try my best to use it. I'm definitely not the the best student of, uh, <laughs> of anything, but um, it gives me a great pleasure to have them here surrounded by by these books it's quite um humbling you know let me zoom out and show you it's quite humbling you know that um the people that have written these books were you know so much better than i mean i can't even say that's not even a comparison i can make with myself but you know the knowledge these people had in writing these books and so like for example, even in Jawzi, he would uh, he would write books while he was traveling. SubhanAllah. So anyway, um, next time I'll go through this, I'll go through the second shelf. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.